So check this out, guys. So this is my quest today. You know, guys, I didn't I didn't even know it was Thursday, man. I swear I didn't. Uh oh, what's this? It says here. My quest is eleven rides on on this Thursday, Thanksgiving. And if I do eleven rides, I make eleven dollars extra. So that's like an 11, 11 gig black shout out. <laughs> yes. Oh man, we think the government don't know this. Oh my goodness. Guys, I got I got something I'm gonna tell y'all that I've been debating about whether I want to tell y'all or not. And I'm gonna be real quick about it. I didn't want to tell y'all this, but I'm just gonna tell you what what happened this particular day. This night it wasn't nothing to me. You got a lot of clowns running around in Chicago. You know, it's, it's all kind of stuff that can happen. So I would say it was this must have been about two months ago. I had a delivery to, I guess you could say, the not so great side of Chicago. And so as I make the delivery, it was from a Mr. King. As I make the delivery and I'm coming down the steps to walk back to my car, it's about, I don't know, 2.30 a.m. A, a car pulls up with a group of uh, hoodlums in it with their hoods on. And one black guy jumps out uh, with a hoodie on. And he walks towards me. And then all of a sudden, guys, and then listen closely to what I'm saying to you. It was like a robbery attempt. But when, this, when the guy got out his seat and walked towards me, something happened where he just totally like reverse and went and rewind, went and rewind. Got back in the car, drove off, and then I chased and I chased them down for about three blocks until they was literally just going over like street bumps, flying over like night rider. And then I said, I ain't for to tear up my car for chasing these mothers, because I was about to call the police and have the police chase them down while I'm chasing them. But I couldn't do it because these mothers was going down the side street. I'm telling you, like going over humps like they night rider. I said, I right, forget about it. I'm protected by the holy angels, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one more time. I had a drop off, walking back to the car. Could have been maybe the person I was dropped off to was involved in it too. So keep in mind, I have no guns. Now keep, but and keep in mind too, if I was in uh, Nevada, nothing like this would even happen. Or it could happen, but it's it's rare. But anyway, all the criminals had the guns in Chicago. We all know what that's about. That's why they can be working with the authorities to go out to an individual and nobody would know. That's the perfect place to commit a crime is in the blue states. But um, I'm telling you, I'll say it again. I walk back to my car. A car pulls up with a group of black thugs in there with hoods on. One comes out. The, it was like a robbery attempt. I don't know what, the, what, what they expect on a rob, you know, because, they, they, you know, what, I don't know what they expect to rob. It's nobody out, just me and he, this car that pulls up. And I'm, I don't know, maybe the person coming out that dropped, I dropped the bag off to, right? So the car pulls up, the guy gets out the back seat. I Maybe he had a strap on him, he had his hands in his hood, maybe, who knows? And I'm telling y'all, God, the minute he he tried to walk up on me, he went in reverse and got back in car and drove off. I asked myself for weeks before I decided to reveal this to y'all, what was that all about? It was as if he saw something. Okay, I've only came up with two theories. Number one, he saw something. Could have been my angels behind me. He saw, he saw something, y'all. Number two, God, I told y'all this is simulation, and he immediately just, God just pushed, put, all he had to do was push the rewind button. See, this is what Mark the Messenger was talking about. When you're in Satan's kingdom, you're bound by Satan's laws. Bad things can happen to you when you're in Satan's kingdom. But when you, when God has his holy angels and his anointing on you, can't nobody touch you because you're not in Satan's realm. I'll leave the link with Mark the Messenger again. It was a, it was a 10 minute 44 uh, video long. It was a 144 video. I'll leave that in the link again. I'm telling you guys, only I've only come up with two theories. Either he went in reverse because God pushed reverse on assimilation or this individual saw something. I, I, and I want to think it was just the way he reversed back in the car. It was like somebody pushed the rewind button. Like God said, uh-uh, you ain't touching mine. And the, and the guy went in reverse. Guys, y'all take it how y'all want. I, I swear to God, I am not bullshitting y'all. It's either that or this motherfucker saw something. He saw something behind me. 
and said, oh, shit, I better get the fuck out. I don't know what I don't know what he saw, y'all. I don't know what he saw. I debated whether I wanted to tell y'all this story or not, but I just want to think I just want to think about it for a long time before I said that. But you guys see the anointing. You guys see the anointing because remember, God, God got his these goons out here, too. It's not the devil. Remember, it's not the devil who's in control. It's God is in control. He got the goons out, too. He uses the goons to go attack people that uh, that may be unrighteous or did something fucked up to somebody. He'll use the goons to attack them. But you can't touch the anointed one. I'm telling y'all, that, that guy saw something behind me, man. But the way he went in reverse, it was weird. It was like it was like a, a old VCR. Like, and they was gone. <laughs> 